Welcome to Fishing with Steve D. Well, one of our local newspaper writers has asked me to talk about some beginner tips, and we're going to be doing that right now. So as a beginner red claw angler, one thing you must be very, very cautious of is their claws. Because their claws, they don't crush like a mud crab, they cut clean like a pair of scissors. And it can be quite painful. So in this uh, video tips, um, tip one is to watch out for their claws. And to pick up the red claw, the best way is behind the head because the claws cannot get... Uh, behind their head so if you pick them up behind the head this will be uh, the safest way of doing it now another defensive mechanism and tip number two of the red claw is they flick their tail to make a big clicking uh, defensive sound uh, to wear off predators and um, it's easy to balk when you're picking them up and you go oh my gosh what's that and you could drop them um, but after um, going red claw fishing quite a few times you will get used to this uh, tail flicking or clicking sound and you will start ignoring it and you will stop balking when um, everybody starts um, it is easy to do to balk when you he hear that uh, or see that uh, tail flicking and you, and a lot of the times you will drop the red claw but the more you do it the more you will start ignoring that And one of the biggest tips that I can give you is to mix your baits. When you are starting out red chlorine, make sure you have uh, fish flesh is a real biggie at the moment. When the floods come especially, that's all you should be using. It is outstanding. But mix it in with all your other vegetables like your rock melons and your kiwi fruit and your dog biscuits, uh, your chicken necks, your lamb livers. Uh, try a few baits that you normally wouldn't think of using, uh, like up at Bandoomba they were using oranges, you wouldn't have thought of that. Another guy was using potatoes, he didn't even wash them, he didn't even half cook them or half cook them, he just put them in raw and he caught a whole stack of red claws. So mix your baits and try new baits that you would not think of and you might surprise yourself guys. And tip number four is really, really a huge tip. Uh, Anglers in the know are using our two bait bottles and have a look what Mick's been doing. He's been using two bait bottles and listening to my tips and he caught 96 red claw in two of our um, heavy duty pots, our four entry pots. So it's very important because the red claw will push them around in packs of four to six and um, it releases a lot more burly and it's going to help you catch a lot more red claw guys because the bait bottles have the correct holes in them and it releases a lot more consistent burly which is going to catch you a lot more red claw you can get your big ice coffee bottles and you can try to put your holes in it but it's not the same these bait bottles are professionally made with the correct amount of holes in them that will release a lot more burly and I can't be any more clearer or plainer than that but it will catch you a lot more red claw and tip number five is to use a red claw pot that has a built-in bait bag like our four entry Australian designed improved designs with the built-in bait bag. Um, so Mick here has been uh, listening to my tips. He's also been using the two bait bottles uh, as well as putting in the rock melon and the uh, park cook sweet potatoes uh, in the bait bags and using them together to work together to catch a lot more red claw. So just because the bait bag is in the uh, red claw pot, you still need two bait bottles. It is very important, guys. And we are up to tip number six. And tip number six is related to when you are cooking the red claw after putting them in the freezer or on ice to kill them humanely is to cook them in um, salty water. The, you can either use sea water if you're close to the sea or you can just add uh, your table salt or other salts to the water. This will bring the flavor out. And tip number seven is to use a red claw 
pot that is collapsible flat because when it collapses flat it uses a lot less room and you can store it in a lot less spaces so it's more convenient so our red claw pots all are collapsible flat and tip number eight is to use our exclusive clip in rings rigid design that as a male female part and uh, they're just like normal rings but they are strong but it allows you to change your ring size in the entrance in minutes this is really good when you're fishing lakes and rivers uh, it makes it a three in one design and it is our exclusive Fishing with Steve D design, Australian design, uh, which I've designed, and it is really next level. It'll save you uh, expensive uh, buying too many pots, and uh, you can save a lot of weight when you're traveling and touring around Australia. And we are up to tip number nine, and it is a very, very important one, is to use upward facing rings. Now, if you have a look at this next video, um, a special uh, thank you out to Nilo's Images. If you want some professionally uh, photographer photographs and you're up in the Townsville North uh, area in Queensland there, look up Neil Images. Uh, Neil Images uh, helped me with this footage, um, the straight rings. You can see the red claw walking in and out at their leisure. Um, but the next following video is our upward facing rings and you can see there's a whole stack of red claw walking in but there are hardly any walking out and this is really encouraging um, and it really gives a status and it says that um, our, our upward facing rings works guys and it will help you catch a lot more red claw when you're out red claw fishing and that's what it's all about you want to increase your chances and opportunities to catch a lot more red claw and as you have seen in these two uh, videos you can have a look at for yourselves and you can see uh, the straight rings and how they walk in and out at their leisure uh, compared to the um, our upward facing rings how a lot of them are walking in but none of them are walking out this is uh, very very important when you are red claw fishing now there's a couple ways that you can do this you can tie the bottom of the rings uh, together and pull them up so it's upward facing angle or you can clip um, the rings in seven holes back at the top uh, and one hole in back at the bottom so that it would give you the same uh, upward facing rings designs like I said a special thanks to Nilo images uh, look him up on Facebook if you want some professional uh, photographs done uh, he is next level thanks and tip number 10 relates to when you are going to uh, cook and eat these red claws so when you freeze the red claw tails and it is best to uh, defrost them before you're going to cook and eat them out of the freezer and this separates the meat a lot easier from the shell so unlike when you first do it it's a lot harder to separate the meat from the shell but after you freeze them in the freezer and defrost them uh, it is a lot easier to uh, peel out the meat uh, from the shell after it's defrosted and just before you're going to cook and eat them this works really well and it works a lot better when you're preparing uh, the red claw to be cooked in um, in naturel or if you're going to add it to other dishes like your fried rices your pastas your stews your stir fries and a whole stack of other different recipe ideas uh, guys make sure you jump on and check out the recipe videos playlist that i've got there's a whole stack of um, different ways of uh, cooking red claw adding them to a whole stack of other different dishes um, and please Check it out and uh, watch them. Thanks very much. Jaden and Hayden, they came and they bought a uh, three entry economy pot and they also bought one heavy duty pot and off they went to the lake and they caught these yabbies um, just locally here in southeast Queensland with our products. They were that happy. Um, they sent the photos in straight away 
and they were saying they are looking forward to buying some more so they can catch even more yabbies with our red claw pots that's great news well done Jaden. well done hayden if you would like to fast track your red claw catching well i've got an ebook only for twelve dollars ten and it's got 37 pages of heaps of tips and how to's just send us an email